Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Smart Ladder, which is a paid script over by the team at London Studios. I'd like to thank them for letting us borrow this resource in order to make a video on it. Very appreciated. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. So it's kind of exactly what it sounds like. It is a ladder truck that you can actually control in 5M that's synced among all players, supports VRP, ESX, all of your permission systems, including standalone if you don't want to use one which is really cool. It comes with the truck out of the box. Um, if you want to use a separate fire truck, the author of that fire truck will have to include um, a file. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, I'm not a vehicle developer, so I'm probably not going to know much of what it is, but I will show it to you in case you have a vehicle developer who wants to add support for one of these um, smart ladder integrations. Obviously, this is the team behind the resources we've done in the past, which is like hose LS and stuff. Very cool resources. They can all be used together and without problems. So I do recommend doing that anyway. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. Pretty much you can put the little stabilizers out and then you can raise and control the basket. And obviously you can bring up the hose and stuff with you um, if you have that resource on the server as well. Um, they have a test server. So if you want to check it out, um, you can go to the website. I'll leave all these links down in the description as well. Um, it will give you the commands. We'll go over those in a minute as well. They have documentation. And then they do have support through Discord if you need it. And here's some pictures of them just doing um, some cool stuff just like that. Anyway, if you want to buy this, it's over on their Tebex page. I'll leave a link to this as well. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go over the documentation and then we'll throw it in game and check it out. So when we talk about documentation, um, it is a 3D model. So when you spawn in the vehicle, um, it's obviously a custom vehicle, fire truck, but without the C. Um, and you can use V menu or F3 or whatever you use to go ahead and spawn vehicles. You can go ahead and spawn it in. Um, when you do spawn it in the first time, you'll see this when we go over in the video. It's not really going to look right. It's because you have to do slash setup vehicle which will then put all the movable parts into a position where they're correct. Um, and then the player that sets up the vehicle is the only one who can control it. So just keep that in mind, um, because if you don't, obviously you're going to run into issues with other players, but you can go ahead and reset the vehicle with slash reset vehicle if needed, if another player wants to. Um, you can enter the cage of the vehicle. Um, if you don't have permission set up, it's automatic for everyone. If you do have permission set up, obviously you have to have the certain permission, but it's slash enter cage or exit cage. Um, if you want to get up and all of that good stuff, um, you have their supply line resource. You can go ahead and use that along with hose LS and this resource, which is pretty cool. Um, you can have ma uh, multiple players in the cage at once, but they will overlap. That's just kind of how 5M works. You can't really fix that. Um, they are looking into it though. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So when you're moving the cage, um, a player that controls the vehicle, the one who sets it up. Um, is able to uh, control it around um, and then another player that enters the cage uh, can be moved in it while the other player moves it which is pretty cool as well let's talk about other vehicles so obviously there is a uh, fire truck um, dot lula file that is going to be all of the data for the moving parts it's kind of like an els file um, but it's a dot lula file this is what your developers will need to do um, to go ahead and add support so you have this whole information for developers here they can get a developer copy and stuff and they go over how you can add everything in the cool vehicle things honestly i have no idea what any of this means if you do great maybe you can add support in your local fire trucks for this so let's go ahead and go ahead and install it so when you buy it on tebex it's going to show up in your uh, Keymaster page. If you've never installed a paid resource before, it will show up in Keymaster and you download it from Keymaster. So you can see I have Smart Ladder here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And you just want to make sure that you are running this on a server with your license key. If you don't have it running on a server with your license key, so one of these license keys, then it's not going to work properly because obviously it can't verify that you own it. Um, 5M is really particular about that. So make sure you have it through Keymaster. The only way to buy it um, after you buy it from Tebex. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, here is all of our resource files. So what we're going to do is just like every other resource, we're going to create a folder and I'm just going to call it smart ladder, just like that. And then I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to paste all of these files into there. So now that we're in here, you can see there is a vehicle. There's the fire truck vehicle. You got your stream file with all of the different props and models and everything and all the data files as well. You got your config, your FX manifest, everything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our configure files so we can see what we can configure. When we're in here, you can enable ACE permission. You can change the commands and the description of the commands. You can enable ESX, VRP, or QB core. Um, obviously, I don't have any of those running, so I'm going to leave it all off. Um, you can enter and change the cage commands, the distance from the vehicle you want to enter the cage from. Should you have a check for that? 
are you using ace permissions or esx do you have different groups you want to use and then you have the translations here at the bottom which is all pretty cool so it's a pretty cool resource indeed so we're just going to go ahead and copy the name of the folder and then i'm going to go to my server data server.cfg file edit it with notepad plus plus and add ensure the name of this folder there we go smart ladder going to save now one thing you want to remember is your 5m server artifacts should be up to date if you don't know how to do that here's a video and the link will also be down in the description below so you can check it out yourself as well all right let's go ahead and start up the server and we're going to keep an eye on this console and you can see it's loading all of the resources so start a smart ladder obviously it's going to use a lot of um, memory just to start up and stuff you can ignore these it shouldn't cause any problems for your server it's just all of the different little parts and since it's moving it does stream to the server and 5m flags it but you don't really have to worry about it all right there we go we've started it so let's hop in game and check right, it out so we are in game here you can see i was messing around over there and i accidentally spawned a car but let's go ahead and showcase this in game so we're just going to go spawn a vehicle by a model name we're gonna name it fire but then truck without the c there we go so you can see it looks weird because obviously it is just a plain model so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna drive this just down the hill a little bit let's go ahead and do this right here so i'm gonna park this right here and then i'm gonna do slack setup vehicle and what this is gonna do is it's going to add all of the movable parts into the vehicle just like that vehicle setup complete press x to control so if i go ahead and press x i have now taken control of the vehicle and obviously you can go in the little basket here which is pretty cool i'm using my wasd to raise and lower the ladder i use arrow keys to go ahead and do this before i actually do this i'm going to press page up though and raise and extend those little bit of the outer things which obviously just makes it a little bit more realistic page down will put that in delete and insert also helps control the vehicle so we're going to go ahead and um move this around we're going to go ahead and raise the cage up because that's obviously what we're doing here just like that it's kind of hard to see from the position you could also control it from the vehicle itself so i'm going to go ahead and just raise this up and then i'm going to extend the cage just like this with the other arrow keys the sideways arrow keys perfect so there we go very nice so then if i go ahead and get out of the control of this go ahead and jump up here get on the ladder i can go ahead and walk up to the basket and then I'm at the top of the cliff, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you can go ahead and get in the cage with slash enter cage, um, which probably I should have done originally. And then anybody who's controlling the vehicle down there can go ahead and do it. But you can also control it from here, which is pretty cool indeed. So you can spin yourself around, do whatever you want, all of that cool stuff. So it is a very cool resource. Make sure to check out the page if you're interested in it. Um, thank you again to the guys over at London Studios for letting me use this today. And you can obviously do exit gate as well, and then you can walk down the ladder.